Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up Tiny Town. Tiny Town is a Sims 4 challenge that was made by Deligracy. You can find the details on that below. On Deligracy's website, you can see how to play, you can see extra rules and ideas. However, I couldn't really see anywhere on how to set it up. So first off, we're gonna decide if we want to have it in our current game or if we want it in a new game. I'm gonna pick a new game today. Picking your property owner, I have my sim self here. You will need a sim that isn't any of your seven sims that you're going to play for the challenge. It needs to be a different sim that's going to live on a different lot. So I'm going to pick myself here. Choose the season that you wish to start in. I mean, spring is easy mode and winter, I guess, would be hard mode. So I, I like to start in spring. Pick a random lot for your property owner to live in. It's at this point here that I want to go through some of the settings. So we have the game options here and we have gameplay. I have aging off because I do not want them to age throughout my challenge. I don't know how long it's going to go on for. And I'd just rather them not die from old age. You can have this on if you please. But I, I have that as no. Auto age un unplayed households. Again, if you're playing in a current save file, then I would turn this aging off. Animal aging. Again, this is your choice. I, I always have it off. Now, this neighborhood stories, this can affect all of your sims on the lot. So depending on which one you're playing with, if you play with just one of your seven sims, the others can go through life changes. I had this on for the first two episodes of my Tiny Town Challenge and I've now decided to turn it off. It was a little bit fun in the beginning. It didn't get too serious, but just before it does, I've now turned it off. Then we want to save our game. Save, save, save. You can save as and save it as Tiny Town or change that at a later date. We're going to cheat in some money for our property owner because I'm not sure how much this lot is going to cost. So you can get this up by pushing Shift, Control and C. First of all, if you have no mods or anything already in your game, you will need to write testing, cheats, space, true, and then type in money, however much you want to give your sim. I've given them not enough, actually. Now we're a millionaire. Hit manage worlds, save. Finding your 64 by 64 lot. There is one in Windenburg where the Villa Rills live. You can evict those and use that plot. There is also the Hound's Head in Brindleton Bay. And we have Red Roan Field in Chestnut Ridge. This is the one I'm using for my tiny town challenge. I don't have Growing Together or Love Struck. I'm not sure if they came with worlds. Maybe they come with 64 by 64 lots. I don't have those two packs, so I'm not sure. Pop yourself over to Deligracy's page on the gallery and you will find that there is a lot here to download. And we can place this in any of those 64 by 64 lots. Once you have your lot placed, it's a good time to think about the seven sims you're going to be using for the challenge. Deligracy has their seven sims on their gallery here. I also have my ones here. If you would like to make some changes to the lot, click on it and click this build button down here. So you have your seven sims, they all have their different personalities, their different colours, and you have your lot. This is a great chance to pick out where they're going to live and who's going to have what. Deligracy's got theirs set up for the ones on their website, obviously. So this would be the gardening one. And then I think they had cooking over here for pink. Mine is a little bit different and yours can be too. You can pick out which colours you would like. I've changed, I think I got rid of yellow and changed it to black. So this is mine. As you can see, it's a little bit different. I've moved some of the colours around. I have some different things. I have gardening down here. You can make your tiny town start however you please. I've put public toilets here. I've actually, if you if you go to my channel and watch the first episode, I have, ignore these, I've put a little building here. Like I've already put a starter community centre up. So we, we already have a sort of building already. Then up here on the top left, we want to change this to residential rental. Then we need to go back to manage worlds and back to our property owner. So on the bottom left here, we have the SIM phone and we need to go to business and we are going to buy residential rental. We'll take it furnished. We are in with our property owner and this is where we're going to separate all of these spaces into our seven lots. If you want to check your cheats again, these are the ones that you're going to need to type in. I did find with Deligracy's lot that I wasn't able to make these. So what I did was I got a flat square, I popped that down and then I placed a fencing around it. And this, then I was able to create a unit using the flat square. So from here, this is one red right out oh, and it's blue already so then we go to the next one that we've made and we go to create unit and we change this to whatever color that we've picked 
again we'll go to this one and this one is brown for me again you can pick out your colors you can start how you like i've moved myself sorry i was in the way so now we have all of our seven lots set up this is now where we can give the different lots traits and challenges if we like so this one here i created this for a painter so we can have actual light yeah painting and photography you know we can do this and you can make that however you like but you can go to each one by going up here and then you click on the arrow here and back to there again and then if you want to go you've got the unit traits and challenges and the unit info here Back to manage worlds because we're going to get our seven sims with your seven sims you can start off having them in one household so they know each other and then you can move them out and so they're all contacts in the, each other's phones or you can do them separately and have them introduce themselves when they're on the tiny town back to our rental owner and this is where we're going to sort out our rental agreement so down here on the bottom left is where we can find our business and over here we go to view agreement and this is where we can change our things so actually i made this a little bit cheaper for my tiny town and you can you can have a play around and see what you think about this but i do not think you can change this agreement once a tenant is already lived in so i think it has to be done before i changed this to 999 days and then i changed my rent per day to one simoleon and you can you have to do this with each one each one will be different because they are different agreements for each lot a little bit funky here actually if you do this you'll notice you don't have the tick so just click anywhere on this screen and then the tick will be available for you don't forget to save and manage worlds we have our property owner we have our lot set up we have our seven sims it's time to move them in Go to create a new household, we'll take Canoe with us and we'll give him 2,500 and then we will move him into this little lot here and this is why I gave them a 3x3 three three because it can be quite difficult to try and pinpoint a really small square. I'm going to move him in here. So that is a Canoe in, let's get our other ones in. Create new household, let's bring Amber with us. Um, 2,000 I think was enough here. Let's give them, because we can change the money in a minute. That's what we're going to do. Move, and we will move Amber into here. Now we have all of our Sims in. We need to go into each household and change their money. <laughs> Look at all of our tiny townies here all together. So when you pop in with one of your Sims, you they have a gated area here. I would lock this for everybody but the uh, sim that you're playing with so this one is lily's everyone but lily and then say when we play with uh canoe over here which is our blue sim and we'll be living over here when we load in with canoe we will have to do the same over here and lock all of these spaces just because the other sims might use them that's your choice if you would like maybe another sim to go and do a painting but I personally like that to be their personal space. So going in to each sim and locking that gated area for them is wonderful. And we pop up to here to build mode. Now double check this because in some of my games it's worked and some of it it hasn't. So if you have your stuff set up here already, say if Lily was going to sell this chair because she doesn't want it, we need to make sure that we get money from that. So that did give me money and that's great. So I'll pop that back because in one of my games it didn't give me money and it was owned by the property owner and not by the sim i was playing i'm not sure yeah so it got a little bit confused um so now that we know that is all nice for lily what we can do is we can go back to control shift c and we need to make our money zero and that is lily ready to go we'll do it with canoe as well we are in with canoe we need to do the same make sure your sim is at home if they are not at home you will not be able to lock your gate so now we need to lock for everyone but canoe and again we are going to cheat our money i keep spelling that wrong we are going to cheat our money to zero and that is lily and canoe set up and then you just do that with the rest of your sims 
and then you can load in and you you're ready don't forget to pause the game so it's not running whilst you're sorting out everything but that is how to set up tiny town if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more maybe go and check out my tiny town challenge as well i've got a playlist going at the moment thank you friends see you next time